Hey, what's going on guys? So today I'm gonna to tell you a story about this $100 bill and my super cringy moment at the bank. But first, I need you to listen. Listen in the background for a chirp. Any second now. It's coming. Ah, you hear it? So there's a chirp in my house, and one would assume I need to change the 9-volt battery out of my, my smoke alarm. But if you assume that, you're wrong. So I want to bring this up because if you happen to hear the chirp in this video, it is not my smoke alarm because I checked them all. It is a random chirp that's somewhere in the house. I pinpointed the room, but there's a lot of stuff in this area where I think I hear it coming from. It started this morning and is bothering me like crazy. Um, I have a lot of electronics, so something that has a battery is letting me know that the battery's dying. I have no idea what it is. But if you hear the chirp in the background, that's what's going on. I'm trying to avoid that one comment, which undoubtedly, now that I've brought this to attention, someone's going to post it. Anyway, dude, change the battery in your smoke alarm. They're not, they're not dead. They're fine. All right. So, story on the 100. So where do I start? <laughs> the bank, I guess. So I go to the bank, uh, the video I did with the nickels, I have to return the nickels to the bank and I have a bunch of pennies too. I have like a case and a half of pennies. So I'm using the coin machine at this particular bank and it was, it was a mess from the, the start. My whole day, my whole morning was weird. Everything like that can go wrong was going wrong, right? And I get to the bank, I'm like, all right, let me just get the change. Let me get some bills for this and then use the bills for just spending money, you know, for groceries. Because I, believe it or not, I still use cash. I know a lot of people don't, they're totally digital. They use their, you know, debit cards and credit cards and they use their phone, their Apple Pay, and they just tap and, you know, it's, they just haven't seen a bill in years. There's literally people who have not seen a bill or change in years. But I still like using this stuff. Uh, it's very good for me to budget. I know there's psychology behind using cash compared to a card. And this is a real thing. If you've never heard of this before, it's very much real. But if you count out money, you know, 10, 20, 30, or 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and you give someone $100 that you just count out with cash, there's an emotional response to this. You don't want to physically give your money away because you could see it's money. You're counting it out in your wallet or whatever, and you're like, okay, here's $45. But to, to use a card and just tap it and spend $45 or $145 or $1,000 with a tap, that's different. If you're counting out $1,000 in cash, like I said, there's an emotional response there um, that doesn't want to do it. You know, it's like, I don't want to give away my money, right? So I, I like using cash, but for me, it's really just budgeting. It's easier. If I have like a $200 budget for food for the month and I have $200 in cash every time I, I buy food, I can see what I've left. It's just a, a, a quick little visual thing. It's easy to keep track, right? So I actually still use cash. I still like coins and stuff like that. So I, I'm putting all my coins into the bank and in the machine. And as soon as I start, I'm like two handfuls into the nickels and the machine already shuts off and says it needs some attention, right? Um, so what that means is that the, uh, the bags are filled. So, you know, these machines, if, if, you, if you're not following me on Instagram, I posted a picture. I, I probably posted multiple pictures at this point of these machines because every time I go there, I'm filling them up and they have to open them up and you get a, a cool little look inside. But basically when you throw your change in this particular machine, and there's different styles, this is one of the newer styles, where you open the lid, you throw the change in and it spins. And as it's spinning, it's you know, pushing the change against the wall. And obviously there's different size holes for different you know, size coins. And they go down tracks and they go into the appropriate bags, right? That's how it's sorting it. And it's doing this at an incredible speed. It, it probably does 100 coins every two seconds or something, ridiculous. So, you know, obviously where they're, they're falling, there's bags. And once the bags get filled up, there's a sensor in there and it lets the machine know, okay, it's filled. So it's a whole process, right? Um, once the, a bag fills up, I have to find a teller. And, and I'm a courteous guy, so I don't just yell out, hey, I need help, you know, help <laughs> the machine. I wait, I wait, I watch for customers. Okay, if this customer is getting helped, I wait. I'm, in, I'm never in a rush, really. Um, I plan for things. I'm never late for stuff. I'm very, you know, um, what's the word? Um, punctual. I'm a punctual human being. So I'm never like, I got to do this right now because I'm going to be late for something. 
not me. So, and, and also I want to be a courteous customer. I don't want to be some rude a-hole, you know? So I'm not like, hey, 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 over here, over here. No, I wait. So if a teller, there's two tellers and there's two customers, I just stand around and kind of, you know, I glance over to see what they're doing. And once a customer leaves and I can see a teller is free, then I go over there and say, you know, excuse me, I'm using the coin machine and uh, it seems like maybe one of the bags are filled. It says, uh, you know, it seeks attention or needs service or whatever. So uh, I'm very polite and then I get that back usually. So, okay, no, yeah, no problem. We'll be right there. And like I said, it's a process. They got to go get a cart. They got to roll the cart out. They got to get the key from the machine. So the process is they go over, they have to punch in, you know, their code, which it makes me laugh because like when I'm at banks, you know, they have security codes for this. Like they have an override code so they can actually go into the machine and find out information and stuff. And that's not supposed to be for customers. That's for the employees, the bankers. But like, I'm standing right there. No one ever hides that kind of stuff. Like I can clearly see your code for this, for this particular one. You don't know the bank, so I could tell you, but it's 1111. <laughs> Probably just so everyone can remember what it is. So that's kind of silly, but if I wanted to, I'm not going to, but if I wanted to, I can go in there and 1111, and then I, I could punch in and I could see how many coins in the machine and all that information, which is kind of cool. Um, but anyway, yeah, they don't, they don't hide that stuff. So so they go on the machine, it says, okay, the nickel bag is filled. It shows, you know, like uh, colored bars, um, depending on how filled each uh, bag is. And there's two bags for each type of coin. So they do, you know, two bags of pennies, two nickels, two dimes, two quarters. They do half dollars, so there's two half dollars. And they actually, I think this machine has a dollar coin slot as well. And I think that might actually have one bag. But anyway, so they punch the thing in. They have to physically unlock the front door, open the door. You see all the slots. They have to slide out the big heavy bag. And these bags are very heavy. They're filled with coins. Uh, I want to say it's a uh, thousand. It's a thousand dollars. So depending on the coin, you know, it depends on how many, uh, how much weight there is. But they're all very, very heavy. They got to be 30, 40 pounds. These bags. So this particular bank has all young blonde women in it. Not that that should matter much, but it's just something I've noticed. Um, and this is completely an aside, but I was thinking about this the other day too, like different gender roles in our society. Like women are equal to men in 2023. Now, some people would debate that. That's just my opinion. Women have just as much opportunity as men do, but there's still, there's still like certain jobs that women dominate and there's certain jobs men dominate. If you go to a construction site, you will probably, you might see a woman or two. Might be two or three ladies there, but you're probably going to see more men because it's a very physical job, right? In Pennsylvania, PennDOT, the people who work on the roads and stuff, yeah, there's women. You know, there might the you might see a flagger. You know, okay, you can go. No, you can't go. Sometimes I'll see a woman doing that job. Once in a blue moon, I'll see a woman doing a physical labor job, but it's still a sausage fest. It's a bunch of dudes. It's just dudes get that job. Dudes ask for that job. Right? When you go to a bank, I've seen men at banks, but it's very rare. If there's eight employees there, they're usually mostly women. This particular bank happens to be mostly young blonde women. There's one older woman there, but she's also blonde. <laughs> just I, just it's something I know. I, I people watch. I, I think about stuff like this all the time. Uh, another gender role thing I was talking about the other day with someone is daycare. For some reason, daycare is predominantly women. And it's a weird thing because even though you could be a man and take care of strangers' children, for some reason, people aren't comfortable with that. Like if people who have a child, they have to give their child, their, their life is in the hands of a stranger. And nine out of 10 times, they don't want to give it to a strange man. It makes them feel uncomfortable. Even though the guy could be totally fine and a great teacher and, and great with kids and all that stuff, it's just like, no, I'd rather give it to a strange woman. Even though there's been many stories, women abuse children, just like men, you know, human beings can be evil. Anyway, that's a whole whole separate topic, but the, the gender roles and stuff. So anyway, so it's mostly younger blonde girls at this particular bank, like all in their 20s. And they all have their, their coffee, you know, and, and their leggings, even though it's not professional at work and whatever. All right, so that's the, I'm just trying to paint a picture. This is the picture. So, and by the way, most of these girls are extremely professional, very, very nice. I have a great experience at this particular bank. I don't have any problems with this. So the, the one girl comes out and she does the machine and she's very professional, no complaining at all. She's doing a great job. And uh, exchanges the, the coins and all stuff and takes the bag out and lugs the bag on the cart. And I always, I always offer to help. 
I'm not allowed to, it's just a policy. They can't have a customer touch the money and stuff, but I, and I, I do it anyway. I know they're gonna say no, but I offer them the, the off chance that they don't care about the policy and they let me do it because it's a big heavy bag. I don't mind just grabbing it real quick and putting it on the cart for them. So anyway, um, so they do all that, they close it up. I put the rest of the change into the machine and uh, I go to print the receipt. So if you haven't used a, a coin machine, you put your change in and a receipt pops out that says how much you put in. So you take that receipt and you bring it to the counter and then they give you bills if you'd like to, or you can just deposit it into your account. So it comes time, it's printing receipt, beep, brr, 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 making the noise and stuff, but then nothing comes out. <laughs> so I'm like, oh man. Now I'm already having like one of those days where everything's just going wrong. So I'm like, okay, now that I bothered them about the, you know, the change because it was filled, now I got to go bother them again. So a different girl, you know, I, I wait until the customers are gone. A different girl has to come out now because it's a different key and a different code and all this stuff. It's like really, it's a big deal to open the top part now. So I'm waiting around, you know, five or 10 minutes go by of them, you know, fiddling with it really because the one girl had to ask for the other girl's help and because she was a little newer, she'd never done this before and they needed the code and it's a different code and blah, blah, blah. And so they finally opened the top part of the machine and, um, it, they're running out of paper. There's a little bit of paper left, I think, and it just didn't, it didn't go through the slot. So it, it printed it, but it wasn't like where it's supposed to be. So it was not a big deal. They ripped it off and handed it to me. And I said, oh, thank you very much. So I'm waiting in line to, uh, to cash in my, uh, my little voucher, my change voucher. So I get up there and, and each time I'm in it having interaction, like the first girl changed the bag, different girl. Second person came out, different person. The person helped out, different person. So now I'm at the, the window, or not the window, but the, the counter there, and it's a completely different girl who had nothing to do with any of the change stuff at all. She's just there at the counter. Hi, how you doing? You know, what's your name? Do you have an account here? Yes, I do have an account. Would you like to deposit or like cash? I like to cash it. And she says, uh, how would you like that back? And I say, and now half the time when, when I'm asked that, how, do you, how did you like that back? Half the time I just say whatever's easiest for you. I always say that. If they happen to have a bunch of fives, I don't care. Give me fives. Whatever, whatever's easier for you. Because I'm trying to be the nice, polite customer and I truly don't care. Money's money to me. If I had to buy something with, you know, 75 ones, or if I had, you know, 20s, it doesn't matter to me. I don't care, money is money. Um, but sometimes, sometimes I ask, because it just pops my head, hey, do you have any old bills? Because I like old bills. I think these are fun. It's an old bill, you know? It doesn't have any particular value. It has kind of a cool serial number. It's 0222-1116. But it doesn't have any specific value. Now, if you get into collecting paper money, there's plenty of different serial number combinations and stuff that people will pay more money for this. Now, because this is an older bill, there's thousands of people that would probably give me $105 for this. Just because it's kind of fun. They give me five bucks premium on the $100 because it's just different. You know, if you're older, this is the money you remember. But anyway, so it doesn't have any particular value, but I like this kind of stuff. So occasionally we'll ask for it. So I say, do you have any old bills? And this is the exact response. I'm gonna to try to give you her mannerisms and everything. This is what she says. She says, oh, no, I'm sorry. We don't have any old bills. Just like that. Fine, totally normal. And that's usually what happens because a lot of times they don't have old bills. So I say, okay, thanks, that's all right. Um, in that case, uh, maybe I'll just take 20s. I think it was $160 and change that I was, you know, use my voucher for. So I said, all right, well, you just give me 20s if that's okay. So okay. So she, you know, unlocks her, her money drawer, her cash drawer, opens the drawer, and right on top was this bad boy. Just sitting there, just right on top of the hundreds. So now my, my brain is going, wait a minute. <laughs> I just asked if you had old bills, and you said, and I quote, oh, no, I'm sorry, we don't have any old bills. <laughs> so my, I'm going like, that's an old bill. Like, you, did you just lie to me? And so I'm trying to think about this and then like it dawns on me like, well, she's kind of a younger girl. Maybe she doesn't realize that's an old bill. Maybe she didn't uh, understand what I was asking. But either way, I'm thinking like that was a little deceitful. I feel, uh, I don't know, I feel strange about it. It's bothering me. And this is all happening in like a couple seconds, you know, but it's bothering me. Hey, you have any old bills? No. You open up, there's an old bill right on top. Well, that's weird. Something's weird here, right? So... Then I literally say, as she's taking the 20s out, I say, oh, I'm sorry, can I have that $100 bill 
So that's an old $100 bill. Can I have that and then 20s? And she says, oh yeah, sure. Just like that. Oh yeah, sure. So she takes 20s out, shuts the drawer. It's weird. Shutting the drawer with the 100 I just asked for that she said I can have. And then proceeds to get a $100 bill from somewhere else. I forget what it was. Maybe it was another teller or from another drawer or something. I forget, but what was that? That was weird. It was just really weird to me. So then she has the 20s and then the new 100, which is like, you know, colorful new 100 we all see all the time. And she puts that on top. She's, she's counting it out. And, and I stop her in the middle of her counting. I'm like, I'm sorry. I don't mean to cut you off while you're counting. I said, but can I have the, the old $100 bill that was in the drawer? When you open the drawer, I asked if I can have that 100. Is that okay if I have that 100? And she said, and she looks at me and she has kind of like a weird, confused face, like, and she didn't say anything right away. It was just really, it was, it, this was so cringy and, and awkward. It was, I don't like the word cringe, by the way. Oh, dude, that was so cringe. I hate that. That cringe is cringe. Anyway, so it was super, super awkward because I asked her if she had old bills. She said no. And then I saw the old bills. Then I literally said, can I have that old bill? She said, yes but didn't give it to me. That was weird. So it's like the whole thing is just, just like, I feel like I'm going insane. Like what's going on here? And so she says, um, after, after this, this quietness, I'm sorry. So, she, so I say, Hey, like, you, you know, I wanted the hundred dollar bill from the drawer, the old bill. So she has this weird face on this questionable, like what's going on type face. And I say to her, I interrupt and I say, you know, I'm sorry if, if you're holding it, like if you want to keep it for yourself or if you're holding it for another customer, that's totally fine. Like, I, I don't have to have it. And then she gets a little defensive and says, uh, no, it's fine. You can have it. Okay. So now, it's, now I'm feeling weird. Like I'm asking for something I'm not allowed to have. Hey, see that bag of money over there? Can you just, uh, can you hand that to me? Can I have that? <laughs> like, I feel like I'm asking for something I'm not supposed to have or something. So now it's, now it's extra weird because I feel like at this point she wanted to keep it either for her boyfriend or husband or for herself or maybe there's another customer that always asked for. She was saving it for that customer. Whatever the reason was, she said, no, that's fine or whatever, like with an attitude and then, you know, proceeded to give that to me with the 20s or whatever. And, I'm, and she's awkward and I'm awkward and it's just the whole thing is just like, it's a hot mess. And I said, all right, well, I said, are you sure that's okay? And now she's like, she's like yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And uh, so I'm feeling like some kind of jerk, even though what it, what it was was like halfway through, I'm, I'm pushing the subject. I'm like, okay, well, you said there's no money. And then there is old money. So why'd you lie about that? Or maybe you just don't understand it. Fine, whatever. I don't care. Because um, like clearly, you know, it, being in your 20s, she doesn't see these very often. She works at a bank. She sees money all day long. You don't predominantly see these. It's just, it's a little more rare to, to, to have these go through your hands. So anyway, whatever, whatever. It's really, and by the way, this whole thing, I really don't care that much. I, if, I, if I got this, cool. If I didn't, I don't really care. Like I said, it doesn't have a lot of value or anything. It's just kind of fun. That's all. It's like, because fun. But I feel like she made the whole thing awkward, and then I proceeded to make it more awkward because I was pushing the subject. It was bothering me. Now, most people, if you said, hey, do you have old money? And they say no, and they open the drawer and you see old money, you'd probably just keep it yourself. You'd be walking to the car with your new money thinking, what was that all about? That was weird. And that was it. You move on with your day. But not me. I'm not that guy. I got to push it now. I'm like, well, that's weird. Did you lie to me about having the old bill? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, but then when I specifically asked for it, why didn't you give it to me? I thought that was super weird. So there's no real explanation for this. I don't really know what, what was going on through her mind the whole time. Either she was trying to save it for someone else and felt super awkward that she lied about it. Um, or she really has no concept whatsoever for what I was asking, which I, that might be possible. It might be possible that she had no idea what I was asking for. And then when I asked for it, she still didn't know what I was asking for. And then ultimately just got confused. <laughs> that, that, that's a possibility. I feel like it's either that or she was saving it for someone and then got frustrated when I kept asking. But whatever it is, that's what it is. <laughs> it's a 1988 $100 bill. And a story. Now I got a story behind it. <clears throat> so, yeah. Man, I live a weird life. <laughs> I really do. But I wanted to share this uh, story with you. I posted on Instagram and I, I, I 
was on the fence about even telling this story, but I figured, you know, why not? Why not tell the story? Because I, it, it's really, the whole thing is so insignificant. And some people watching this are like, this is a complete waste of time. I don't even know why you're telling the story. It's stupid. It's a stupid interaction. But some people might enjoy it. They might find that entertaining to, to, uh, to get a little peek into my, my very awkward self, I guess. Maybe I am awkward. I don't know. I don't mind. I, I've embraced my awkwardness. I mean, I'm a weird guy. I love it. I love that I'm weird. It makes me unique. It makes me different. I'm not just part of the sea of people, mindlessly just going to work, taking dumps, eating dinner, and then going back to bed and, you know, wash, rinse, repeat, that kind of thing. Um, I am weird, and I'm proud of being weird. So uh, if you're weird like me, and I don't mean like, don't, don't be too weird. <laughs> not that weird. Uh, but if you're weird like me, like quirky and and just kind of fun, in my opinion, I think I'm fun. I, I think it's um, a novelty of, of weirdness. Um, it's not alarming weirdness. If, you, if you're alarming weird, please please don't be. Um, but yeah, little, little stuff like that. Like, I just, you know what it is? The older I get, the less I care about what strangers think of me. I'll always care what my family and friends think of me and stuff. And, and you know, that is important to me. I think it's important to everyone to, to want to be liked and want to be a good person, all that kind of stuff. So I do care what people think of me, but... Strangers, not as much, not as much. You know what's weird too is that like, I'm not rude. Don't get me wrong, I'm not rude at all. But you know like when you're younger and you might be younger right now watching the video, you're younger and you're single and like there's that hot chick who's like walking by the door you're walking and you grab the door for them and you hold the door, you know what I mean? It's like, there's something, like you treat pretty women nice and what happens is a lot of pretty women they're used to that treatment. And then when someone doesn't treat them like extra special, like there's some special thing, they get really offended or they just don't understand it. It's weird to them, right? So like, as far as holding the door, I'll hold the door for an ugly woman, a nice woman, a man, a child, anyone. Cause it's a nice thing to do is hold the door if someone's right by you, right? But like, like the, in this particular case, the, the cashier was a good looking girl. So maybe she's used to people treating her really great and maybe I didn't, and maybe that was bothersome. Oh well, <laughs> toughen up, lady. Uh, I'm a very happily married man, and uh, I don't give pretty women uh, particularly extra care. <laughs> I just don't care, you know what I mean? So I don't know if that, if that played a role in, in why she was annoyed by the whole thing, I have no idea. But, um, but yeah, so uh, that's pretty much it. I just wanna tell you a story about the old $100 bill and my weirdness and share it with you. So now I'm going to shut off the camera and try to find the um, the noise, which I don't know. I don't know if you can even hear it while I was talking the whole time. Let's see, is it still there? Maybe it stopped. Oh, no, nope, I just heard it. All right, so I'm going to have to go find the chirp, see what's up with that. Uh, let me know what you thought about my story. This is my real life. Uh, I wish I could make some stuff up, but I have... I have so many weird stories. Some are, are maybe better than others or, or more interesting than others, but I just always have something going on. I get that. It, it's uh, my, my, my family says it's a Smith thing. Like my parents, they, they go out to eat or whatever. There's always a problem. There's always something that becomes a story, no matter what. It's just like we're like a magnet for that. You know what I mean? Like you can't just go out and do something for the day or whatever and not have something go wrong. It's just a, it's a weird weird thing so maybe it just runs the family anyway that's it hope you guys uh enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and i will see you tomorrow well you hear that it's garbage day so the garbage man is actually he's doing a little yui he went the wrong way uh anyway so that's it <laughs> hopefully you guys have a great day and i'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video take care